President of the Republic of Azerbaijan. Dear Mr. Novruz, dear ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, uh, it was mentioned here that uh, in this format, the f meaning the format between the uh, Georgia, Azerbaijan, and Turkey, this is the f uh, fourth of uh, fourth of my, uh, our meeting, and this is a good tradition that uh, every year in capitals of our countries we we are discussing issues of the trilateral relations and cooperation. At the same time, we are discussing events in our region and the neighboring regions and how this can affect our relations and challenges and opportunities they provide us. Processes are very rapid. They are continuing very rapidly. We see new challenges and new initiatives, and every year we we're trying to discuss new ideas, then we're open to them. And our trilateral cooperation is very rich and it has the practical aspect. From this point of view, I think it's uh, beneficial and equal for all of us. This is the switch from the interdependence to strategic partnership. And at the same time, we are discussing also investments, mutual investments, and and on international platform. And we know that uh, oil and gas and uh, transport projects uh, that are being discussed uh, also on our platform. We we mentioned about the, about the um, railway projects of Baku. Tbilisi cars and um, um, building, building up and construction of ports, and also associative uh, designing up associative uh, membership between Georgia and uh, Europe, EU, and with agreements with China to be signed. The access of Turkey to Central Central Asia, and after you know the sanctions last year, this volume has increased. And I think this trend uh, will be maintained also in the future. And, uh, Azerbaijan in the direction of east-west and uh, north-south is active. And President of Azerbaijan is paying the special attention uh, to plans of increasing of a new uh, economic. And I think it gives us new opportunities and new horizons. The President of Azerbaijan, Onuta, Ilham Aliyev placed the special, the special attention to this because this is one of the oldest uh, partnerships we have and the portfolio of it. Uh, from the institutional point of view, this is the, one of the richest uh, tri uh, tri trilateral and it also helps the, uh, preserve the sovereignty and development of the sovereignty of our countries. And history showed that this gives an opportunity to strengthen our states and our strength, strength and helped also to resolve some problems. Our conference uh, comprises of two, two parts. So the first part, we, we're going to discuss uh, security issues and also we're going to talk about the economic, economic project. And of course, uh, uh, I would like we to talk more about the future rather than about the history. Political economic uh, issues are very important and they keep, keep up their importance and stability is very important, is very crucial for the economic development. So that's why the, the uh, servants and maintenance of stability is the prerequisite for economic and social development. So this is the regional, regional cooperation and it's not against any part. So this is, it's based absolutely on free will and initiative of country and it's quite natural form of cooperation. This is reality, but unfortunately, in some foreign countries, this uh, format, this format is misunderstood and sometimes they try to perverse it and we can say that unfortunately sometimes it's, sometimes it's unfortunately we can say it's sometimes difficult to explain this simple truth. 
and I must say that the world now is not around all these uh, traditional centers. So you can hardly find uh, examples when three, four countries are executed and doing big formats. And I think we should uh, support and maintain this format. We should protect it and express, uh, express uh, its interests. In present world, the, the manipulation of information created the created the alternative uh, ground, and in some and uh, sometimes they try to, to uh, put a very false agenda for the nations, and uh, we see sometimes it's replaced the well, interests of the rich and the countries replaced by interest of big powers. We need to come up with uh, real figures and demonstrate it to our society as a first society. And we cannot give it uh, in the disposal of, uh, of power powers of out of this region because because uh, they may interest it to make a small countries to serve their interests interests. Yes, uh, regional, regional, neighboring regions are not stable, and all three countries are somehow, in some form, involved in uh, military operations. You know that territories of Azerbaijan and Georgia are, are partly occupied, and Turkey is uh, fighting against the radical uh, Turkens and separatism, and that is why the cooperation between this, uh, between our countries is important. And several weeks ago, we witnessed it once again. And we believe that both politically and economically, we also, uh, because it extended political and economic uh, cooperation also to the military field. And what is Turkey doing, doing against terrorism uh, is supported by us strongly. And unfortunately, sometimes, Sometimes it's not understood by global powers. In, in supporting one one terrorist group against the uh, the other is not acceptable, and we can see what has happened in a uh, previous history. And protection of the territorial integrity need to be supported. At the same time, we need to we we also proponents of uh, increasing the role of the UN in international conflicts, in resolving international conflicts. So today we're going to talk about the future, future challenges and potential opportunities for us. And I think these discussions will be will be very important, and they will create a new fields for discussion. Thank you very much for your attention.